Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I'm going to be cash stuffing, cleaning out my coin purse and getting my wallet ready for the next week of cash spending. All right, so I want to first clean out this as I stated before. Got a little sidetracked, had to stop the camera, everything's fine. Got a whole lot of quarters because I went to Aldi and she was out of ones, but she had plenty of quarters. <laughs> Let me turn on a little bit more light. Can we see now? We done that. All right. So let's see where we're starting off here. 3640. I like to get all of these little pennies out of the way first and foremost because they are annoying. Today I have on my Timu um we're not gonna say that. Alright, let's see here. Now my upcoming videos are going to be out of order because I do a lot of pre-filming. Right now, it is the Labor Day weekend. It is Saturday morning. You're going to see this on Saturday night. But after I finish this, I've got a couple of stops I need to do, errands I need to run, and then I'm going to start my fall decorating, which will probably be up Monday and or Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, I had started my fall decorating, but then I found some cute things. So we have to redo some areas. It's a problem. So, yeah. I forgot where I started again. 36 something? I don't know. a lot. We are now up to $42.15. Money, money, money. I love the sound of money. This is about not even a quarter of the way filled. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. It's, uh, it's heavy. Let's see what we have in the wallet from last week. All the rings have to come off because they're annoying me. I'm not used to wearing rings on a weekend, and I'm not, I haven't worn rings in a while, and I'm in one of those moods where I just don't want anything bothering me. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, we have gas, groceries, dining out, shopping, and buffer. Buffer has one, two, three dollars left. I'm going to put that in the very back of my tray. Let me move that so you can see it. Okay. I do not stuff dining out. I no longer dine out. I try to meal plan and eat at home. I've found in the last couple of weeks that I have been dining out because 
I'm just trying to do too much and that needs to stop. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have from the bank today. It should be $235. Let's see if that's what we have. Oh, I'm going to have extra because I had a check. That's right. I had a check and it was like $6 in this change. So let me pull my coin bank back out. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to make a list of everything I want to do and I need to do because I am completely overwhelmed. This craft room, I have brought in every purchase I've ever made. I had it all over this desk, had to clean it all off. So where is it now? <laughs> in the floor. Okay, great. And I don't like mess. It just gives me anxiety. So we got to take care of that. Let's see where we are after we add a little bit more. Did we make it to fifty dollars? Where, where were we? Forty-seven? We don't know. Forty-three oh six. Not even close. All right. Great. All right. First, I want to do this for my best friend, Louie. Louie. We're gonna look for star notes for Louie. Star notes are when you have this serial number and instead of a letter, it would have a star behind it. And sometimes if you check it, you can see that um, you, there's a website you go to and you can see if it's worth face value or if it's worth more. So, no star note. So that is a star note, folks. So we'll put that to the side. A star note just means, I believe, that a mistake was made. And they say they can be worth more. There's also supposed to be something with um, certain $1 bills. I think it's the 2013 series. I don't know that I have any of the... No. Oh, wait, here's fives. Hold on, five in the middle. Uh, yeah, I can't see that. Ah, real small. So I'll have to check on those later. But Google um, 2013 dollar, $1 bills worth money or something like that, and it should come up. Don't know if it's true. I just, you know, I saw it. All right, let's count and make sure that we have roundabouts 235. It'll be a little bit more. 51. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 10, 20. Oh, these are stuck. Five, thirty-five. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, two hundred and forty. I had two hundred and forty-one with the cashing of the check. And I have forty-two, forty-three, two hundred and forty-four total. Okay, knocked my camera off. <laughs> I've screwed it on so many times the threads are messed up 
and it's it's a problem all right let me find my star notes i think that's in the very back here it is so far i have found a twenty dollar a five dollar a five dollar and now i have a one dollar So I have twenty-five, thirty-one dollars in star notes that at the end of the year I'm gonna check on them. If they are worth nothing more than face value, I will add them to a bill or savings or whatnot. Since we're in here, I'm going to start with the two envelopes that I am going to um stuff and that will be the weather and the date i got paid on the 30th so let me take my little basketball here we don't even know if this writes mm, paper paper where would paper be right there okay 8 30 deposit plus 30 I should have two hundred and fifty nine dollars once I put my 30 in so we're gonna put a 20 and a 10 Desperately needs to be condensed. So we have 150, 70, 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200 and fifty nine dollars batteries dying hold please all right so if you're new here i want to explain the method to my madness um i have various envelopes that i stuff with five dollars a dollar ten dollars whatever i have and lately because I've been doing too much shopping, <laughs> I've only been stuffing my two main ones, which are save the date and the weather. And with all of this money, well, especially with save the date and the weather, I'm going to take this and put it towards my car insurance bill. Um, the others will either continue to build or I can use them for Christmas shopping or whatever. So, where's my save the date? Date, right here. So I'm putting that back and I registered that I now have 259. Each date that I get paid, if it's the 1st, the 12th, the 18th, the 30th, I stuff that amount, 12, 18, 30, into this envelope, okay? The next one I want to do is the weather. Tomorrow is the first, and so round about the low will be 70. So I just took that amount out to be able to stuff today into the weather. I stuffed the low uh, because it gets really hot here and I don't have 110 degrees or $110 to put in here sometimes. So we go with the low, which can still range. I've got 26, 57, 53, 58, 59, 62, 75. So yeah, the, the amounts will start getting lower here into the 70s for the next few months. Um, uh, 9, 1. So, although I'm a day early, I just looked at my weather app 
to see what the low was going to be tomorrow and they said one day it said 70 the next day it said 69 the next day it said 71 you know we're going to do 70 so then that gives me 100 that's not right okay helps if you clear it 390 plus 70 is 460 dollars should be in here and that is half of my car insurance payment right there so i'm saving for my car insurance which is 900 dollars a month because car insurance went nuts this year on everybody all across the the u.s and I'm saving for my car taxes because they're outrageous at like $700. <laughs> and I drive a 2018. Okay. Alrighty then. <sighs> I'll tell you what. So let's add 70. That's 50 and 70. And let's make sure we have $460. 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 55, 60. Yes, $460. So, take that. I haven't made tabs for these yet. You know, one of the things on my running to-do list that I can't ever seem to finish getting through one before I've got to add more to it. And I tell you what. All right. So that is done. Now I am going to stuff my wallet. I like to um, carry a smaller purse. And not have a bunch of junk because when I carry those bucket bags, I start throwing everything in it. It gets to be 700 pounds. We don't have time for that, okay? Okay. So, I got this off at Amazon quite a few months ago. It comes with tabs, which I have labeled. And we went through this earlier. In gas, I'm going to put 45 I did fill up on the way home from work, so I'm not sure if I'll use this. This might roll over to next paycheck. Just depends on how much driving I do. 20, 40, 5 for gas. Groceries gets 50. Now, $50 doesn't get you far in groceries, but because I buy in bulk, it's only me, and I portion it out and vacuum seal it and put it down in the freezer all of my meats and most of my vegetables are done and ready this is just for fillers or for fun things that i might want or, or be craving or you know whatever something i might need to you know repurchase dining out gets zero because that's grease and fat and we're trying to stay away from it even though when we go dine out we try to make the best choices Shopping always gets 30 because I have addictions, and if I don't give it a little bit, then I'm going to rack up credit card debt, and we don't need that. So I allow myself $30 to find cute little squirrels or whatever I'm looking for. Then income just basically means buffer. I always put $10, and that's a five and five ones. One, two, three, four, five and as you see I have money left over and I have um, scheduled the dog to be groomed I don't know if that's in here now let me grab my other one I have three of these 
So it's like S short term, M medium term, yearly expenses, L long term, saving for big expenses or, you know, just something that I'm putting away to put into savings or my IRA or whatever. Short term is things that I usually um, do often, like if I want to pick up a new beauty item, any emergencies. We see we have nothing in there because otherwise it, it, everything is an emergency. Okay, grooming. He's getting groomed soon, and I don't know what I have in here. 50, 65, 66. We don't have nearly enough. So, fifty, sixty, five, seventy, one, two, three, four. I just need to get twenty five to thirty more dollars in here. Um, I think it's the tenth. No, I'm sorry, the fourteenth, I think, is when he's scheduled. So the next check, I've got to put something in there. I thought I had enough. Uh, I have this for health and eye co-pays. I just build that up. Um, cleaners for the house. You've seen me buy all of this stuff. Why am I not using this? Because I'm trying to get these built up so that next year I can come in here and start stuffing these and taking from them. I can just swap out, you know. Put $10 in this week, spend 7 you know. Um, pet food, do need pet food, litter, clothing, which I need to start building up because I've lost 11 pounds so far, and I noticed the other day that there's a pair of pants that I just cannot wear again. They look like balloon legs. Um, decor, <laughs> that's never ending. We d I don't even know that I should do an envelope for that. We don't know. Because I always see something that I have to have. Hobbies uh, for my happy planning, for my channel, for my crafts and arts and anything I like to do. This is because last year I was sick so much. And I spent so much on dining out or when I get the virus, I have these really weird salty, sweet, sweet it's, I need sweet and salty things when I have the virus. So I would go out and get chocolate pudding and Cheetos. You know. <laughs> so I'm trying to start that up. I'm hoping that this year is not going to be a bunch of sick days. I work at a university so we've got people coming in and out. The kids are moving around, not washing their hands. Maybe we are washing our hands. I don't know. The first week of classes we've already got at least one student out with the virus. Okay! Okay, this is why I have 72 bottles of various um, sprays. You see me washing my hands a hundred times. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then I have a $500 card place holder in case I ever save five. <laughs> That's a joke, but whatever. We're prepared in case it happens. Okay. Okay. In this one, this one is the medium term or the yearly expensive. I have my car maintenance, car insurance, car tax, car tags, which I re renew every three years. Fun, this goes towards basketball. Um, I try to save up enough in this envelope to buy season tickets and food and souvenirs throughout the year because you know you got to have new shirts and yeah it's a problem christmas we don't have much in there because we've been i probably should take that out and put it into my savings but i'm keeping it hvac that seriously needs to be built up eye visits for the dog's vet visits the cat vet visits. He doesn't go that often. And another 500. <laughs> Please solder. 
for when I get $500 in one of these envelopes. And then I'll take it to the bank and have a 500 placeholder to tell me that I have it in the bank. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 700 subscribers by the end of se September. And if you don't know what September is about, then check in tomorrow where I will explain a little bit more. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I had a great time stuffing. I hope you had a great time and were inspired to start saving. Every dollar, every penny counts. You can do it. And let me know in the comments below if you're saving, how it's going. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.